We're following Dot Out Terry today. Jia, come ride with me, y'all. So where you from? I'm from Nutters. Got the state where we push weight. Yes. And chopping grams up for old time's sakes. Yes. Still doubling on the block corners. All corners. And yelling cherry tops with the sign to warn us. Yeah. So what is like coming up in Elizabeth? Man, coming up in Elizabeth was rough, man. Um, 603 South Park Street. I'll never forget that, man. The heart of the hood, man. Every night, shootouts, uh, cops running down on somebody, um, you know, houses being raided. It was kind of hard growing up because we was church boys growing up. So it was like we was outsiders um, looking in, you know, because our parents would not allow us to be a part of the in crowd. So we had to take the punches and stuff like that. So I didn't want to... Um, be a part of the hood and thank God that my mother and father taught us the grounded roots as children to become the man that uh, I am today. A lot of gossip in the barber shops yes, about who did what and who done got shot. Storytelling. Uh, selling rocks out the parking lots yes. and break the hell out before they call the cops. But I see you out there working hard. You know, you, you really don't never take an hour off, man. How, right. how did you get started in this business? Well, what made me get started in this business, um, a few years ago when um, I first got on Facebook, um, I was watching how everybody was doing their rapping, and I've been in the rap game already, but I wasn't um, too sure how people was going to accept, you know, me coming back after so many years when I was with Second Mill um, from back in the day. And then I saw that how the market has changed, how Facebook let everybody open up their markets to music and um you know they expose their music and everything else so me personally when i saw that i'm looking at people music videos and stuff like that i'm like okay um hmm let me try this again you know what i'm saying let me let me see what it's like so i got back into the game called a few people up and when i started hitting back into the rap game or whatever situation would be i didn't realize how many people was actually rapping i was like wow it just like blew my mind and um when i got back into the game you know i was like i had a fresh start or whatever like that i didn't know where i was going to get my music from i didn't know anything yeah you know what i'm saying so in the midst of me doing that i said okay let me go ahead and explore and i did that you know um i hooked up with my man uh ap um then i hooked up with alcatrax Right. Um, I hooked up with Julian Gibson. I was like, oh, okay. I hooked up with some people that, you know, got me branded into the game or whatever like that. So when I had dropped my um, first uh, single, Where I'm From, shot by Marksman, the video. Right. And, you know, I put it out on Facebook and then it exploded. That was that, man. And yeah. I knew it was time. That blue magic got them fiends jumping. Yes. I'm from the place where they keep coming. Uh, and crooked cops want to sweep something Under the rug just in case We ain't need something cops. I bring the work to the project steps To set a little shop for a little progress uh, I'm fully tucked with the two techs Bulletproof vests, hoodie teeth sweats uh. You got kids, Dada? Yeah, I got four beautiful children You know, kids almost grown um, Khadijah Terry, Antoine Terry, Andre Terry Jr. And Devin Terry. Wow, I know they're yeah. proud of their dad. Um, I see uh, you work so much. Like, what, what's uh, your time with your kids? How, how do you uh, put that in? Well, it's kind of hard because I get them every other week. Um, I work. I worked it out with the kids, moms, and stuff like that. And uh, I never want to leave my kids behind or whatever like that. So I told them, you know, we went through it every other week. You know what I'm saying? I'm not on child support, so I take good care of my children. They're on my health insurance, they got everything. So me personally, I thank God that my parents put the roots in me as a strong father to look over my children. Right. Um, you know, due to working a lot, it's kind of hard to really spend the time I want with them because of, you know, the jobs and stuff that I do, but I'm making all sacrifices for them. Right. right. But I spend quality time with them, and, you know, they, they're well taken care of. 
well taken care of. I send a message to them ghetto boys. The please don't come around because we got toys. No way. Uh, I'm from the place where we cause riots. Leave your brains on the curb and then we keep quiet. Shh. I'm packing heat that's hot as the sun. Cough up a lung where I'm from, Jersey son. Ain't nothing Cough nice. Up a lung. See uh, a lot of patents at the Jay-Z uh, in your videos. You know, I caught you checking out um, YouTube and I ran into your story. And I, I, I like what you do for our neighborhood and stuff. So is Jay-Z one of your favorite artists or something? Yeah, he's one of my favorite. He, he always has been, you know. Um, but I grew up on Snoop Dogg. I grew up on, you know, I grew up on Snoop Dogg. I grew up on um, a, a, a lot of people. Uh, what you call Dr. Dre, um, Ghost Facing Them, uh, Wu-Tang Clan. Um, you know, I, I grew up, but you know, I guess Jay Z stuck. Is this, uh, you know, I like this swag and stuff like that, you know, because he brought a lot of swag to the game or whatever situation would be. So I was like, you know what, you know, let me try to duplicate the swag, you know what I'm saying? Not pretty much bite nobody's style, but make my own style, but put some swag in. And I like the way he did that. So I just merged from there, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Alcatraz, Hey yo, Rob, you a genius for this one. Hey yo, eat what up, eat with a man behind the boards. Shout out to the 40 dogs and the whole crew. Jersey stand up. Alcatraz, what up? I'm fresher than your average thing. Fresher than your average. Fresher than your average thing. Fresher than your average. Fresher than your average thing. Fresher than your average. Fresher than your average thing. Fresher than your average. Fresher than your average thing. Fresher than your average. Fresher than your average thing. Fresher than your average. Fresher than your average thing. Fresher than your average. Fresher than your average thing. I see you um with the mayor. I see you with councilman. I see you at the PAL sports and all that. So I see you know a lot of people. Are these people you're connected to, are they like the fans of yours? They give you the key to the city, so much to say? Well, listen, man. Um, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Councilman Torres, Patricia Perkins, Mayor Bowich, um, Kenny Vaughn, Angela Vaughn, people like that, that really like uh, open doors for me. I mean, they saw my, you know, they saw my look, outlook on, you know, the direction I was going and they believed in my craft of putting the city on the map. And I think if you're doing something positive, especially in filming, um, you wanna, you know, embrace the people and let them accept you for who you are in a positive light opposed to a negative light and you know i think positive is it's me positive equals me i don't see nothing wrong with me being positive or anything like that um you know to bring fruit to the city and when the mayor and them realized what i was doing like a foot like for example shooting a movie for the big e um that definitely opened their eyes to a better light so having a better light on you know life far as um getting the people attention and getting a positive response um i never took that for granted when i enter the rap game i enter my rap game t-o-l-c got patent and remain i'm so fresh on the market because i spit flames i'm on fire niggas arson i chopped it up with my old dudes I took a little advice telling old news uh, I threw the cool feet on and after that a new star was born You tell me, I mean I hooked up with you and your team like a week ago And you right. guys seem like the chemistry you have is just a fun family atmosphere So what's that like hooking up and, and getting your own movies out? Like, you know, you know, working with that team that you can count on or depend on to be there for you know, because you do have a hard schedule. Right. Well, here's the thing. The thing is, um, one thing that I learned in life was, basically, when you're, doing, when you're doing movies and you're doing stuff, I had to came into my own sense and said, nobody is going to give you nothing. I knew nobody is going to give me nothing. You know what I'm saying? So you got to go out and get it. And... Dealing with the movies and stuff like that, and I had to come to a sense to say, okay, if I make my own and make it my own, I think I'll get a better response far as 
uh, the people. And getting a better response from the people was like, okay. Um, getting a response from the people was what something that touched me. The reason why I'm saying that is because I knew what I was talking about when I wanted to branch into the movie into the movie industry. And getting into the movie industry was like, okay, that's something different. That's something nobody's doing, but everybody's in the music business, but not the movie business. Right. So I decided to, you know, incorporate my music into my movies. Cause now I could be in control of my own craft. I had to break through the barriers. I came from the bottom, the briefcase carriers. I became a businessman, so stay in your lane and you can mind your business, damn. Cause I, I, I'm so cold in the ice. The number one question is why the crush flow is so nice. Yes, I, I am the number one topic. The new Will Smith of the block, niggas. We've been going city to city, showing your love, and I see the love that you get, man. So. This is Paparazzi P telling you, man, I see your work, I love your work, man, and you just keep up the good work, bro, because you're, you're definitely winning right now. Yo, I appreciate that, man. I mean, at the end of the day, man, i always been for the people. I think that if you can survive one life, you can survive many. And that's all I want to filter into people's heart. Be a people person, be kind, be gentle, you know, stay who I am and win. Win the people. That's the whole thing. That's yeah, the people is the one that got to support you at the end of the day. So why not win the people? And that's what I did. Right. And it worked. Yo, rap niggas, listen up. I'm telling y'all grown folks to man up. Uh, now I don't put the game in handcuffs. That's why they call me King Tabalon Crush. Yo, I got y'all fast when he slowed up. I'm standing at the finish line, catch up. Yo, and as I speak to y'all, listen up, I got some words for y'all. Hold up. It's good to be independent. Yeah. Independent is key because two things. When you're independent, no one can answer to you. No one, you don't have no responsibility. What the responsibilities do you have? You know, only responsibility you have is A, getting your money, B, making sure that the people are served the right way, great customer service, great qualifications. That's all you can bring to the table, making sure the people got their product. When people got their product, ain't nothing you can tell them. What could you tell them when they got their product? Yeah. When they got their product, ain't nothing that you could tell them. Nothing. So, independent is key. Right. I'm sitting down at the round table. I'm talking to big bosses, Dr. West, Mayor Bullwich, uh, talking about different events or different things for the school or what can we do to enhance the, enhance the city. Um, I don't sit there and go in there, oh, I'm TOLC. I'm, I, I, I got this to bring to the table. I got that to bring No, All I got to do is just keep working. You know what I'm saying? When you're working, you don't have to worry about answering to them because you're sitting down with other bosses. And when you're sitting down with other bosses, you have to bring to the table the qualifications of what you're going to bring or what they're going to accept of you. Right. Come from a long way, I'm from Jersey, son. Ain't nothing nice. I'm from Jersey, son. Ain't nothing nice.